so i went on instagram and i asked my followers yo what are some effects that i do that you would like to see a tutorial on and let's just say i kind of regret making this video because i got so many requests i can't even pick and i got so many more honestly this just low-key made me not want to do anything at all i got a lot of requests uh to do a tutorial on my turbs and my text animation and honestly i'm just gonna tell you here i'm not gonna make a tutorial on my turbulence bro go crazy Stupid. Ah! That is just like, how do I say? That's like my special, my special effect. Fun fact. Fun fact with one. Fun fact, by the way, I used to edit on Video Star. Like, I used to edit on Video. Star. I used to edit on videos so like two years ago, maybe three years, something like that. And the only reason I switched to After Effects is because I wanted turbulence. Like, I wanted better turbulence. So I switched to After Effects and, bro, I, f I low-key fell in love. Like, I know I don't have a girlfriend, but I kind of like, After Effects is like, sort of like my girlfriend. What the fuck? Or boyfriend. What did he say? What the hell? Anyways. Basically, what I'm trying to say is, yes, this is a channel based on me making tutorials on how I edit, but, you know, I can't be giving out all the sauce. Like, what's the point of me being in the editing community if I'm, if all I'm going to do is just show y'all how to do everything I do? I hope you guys understand. I'm not being selfish. I kind of am, low-key. And for the text animations, now, I am going to do a tutorial on that soon hopefully <laughs> but i low-key forgot how to do it oh my god oh, brother Damn. this guy stinks it all started with like i made like three text animations and then from there i just i just tweaked the settings and then just saved another preset and then my presets just like started stacking up because of those three presets that i made at the start you feel me like they're all sort of the same animations even though they look different because i mean they are technically because i tweaked the settings and stuff yo what's up it's editing Juan here and bro i talk so much bro like it's crazy how much i have to edit out because i just talk too much like i can't shut up like bro watch this next clip like what am i even talking about like i'm just saying i'm just talking just to talk bro like at this point i'm literally just saying anything but they all come from like the same generation if that makes sense like you know how like we have like old generations and then your grandpa or your and then your grandparents had your parents and then your parents had your, yeah that's basically like the history with me and uh my that's basically the history with me and my text animations the fuck are you talking about what are you talking about? What electronic? What are you talking about? Shut the fuck up. So the purpose of this video was to get a couple effects and put them all in one video. What I had in mind is like, oh, let me just make all the effects like not too difficult. Like, let me make the effects. Let me make, let me make, let me make good, simple effects that look good <laughs> okay bro oh my god does this bother y'all the fact that i talk too much or y'all don't even know how much i be talking because you guys are not editing my videos and then y'all be asking me oh see you next week or see you next month oh see you in a year see you <laughs> see you when the next election happens <laughs> okay you guys really love to just hey on my upload schedule huh this is the reason why i take so long to edit because i don't want to constantly be listening to myself just talk for so long oh my god i'm, I'm really stressing i'm stressing like i'm legit stress. i'm really about to quit youtube i'm gonna i'm i'm gonna do i'm gonna make you damn 
okay now i'm like the regular me i was supposed to be the editor i was supposed to be the smart one now i can't even talk i'm gonna make oh my bro there's uh i'm gonna do you guys a favor is that how you say oh my god why am i'm slow i'm legit slow i'm sl i'm legit slow i'm gonna do you guys a favor and just skip everything i said i'm gonna grab the clip i'm gonna cut it and boom deleted and we moving on to the effects because i'm taking too long okay so the first effect is cc ball action i've done this effect a couple of times on my edits um i'm sure there's like an example right here on screen right now so yeah let's let's show you how to do it so the first thing you're gonna do is duplicate the layer we're gonna have to mask him out i'm editing my boy x by the way um his birth is coming up soon so i'm probably gonna make an edit i love you one he don't want no one on one he yeah. grabbed a gun and clipped it my son what happened to a fist fight with this shit. if a nigga pull up on me my shoot a nigga dick right okay so we're gonna mask him out now here's a little tip pause a lot of people use the pen tool so they go like around him like this i mean it's cool like it's cool sometimes like th i guess he's easy to mask here but sometimes we got some difficult things that you can't really do and honestly i don't have the patience for it so what i do is i grab the roto brush and then double click and then basically just go like this around him go up here get that little dread or whatever the ear now you might have some like messed up areas like this you, you basically just press all on your keyboard and then go like this and then you can toggle the alpha overlay twice and it's gonna make it black and then let's bring up the feather a little bit and then shift edge and here's something that i've had a question about because i when i first started using rotobrush i didn't know how to do this so basically so you press freeze right and then it saves your mask area or whatever but then you play it and out of nowhere it just like it goes back to the to the picture like basically the fix to that is this right here you see this once this reaches here it's gonna go back you see how it went back so basically just grab this and put it all the way to the end and then you should be good and then just press freeze and then we can close out the layer and now you may not see it but if we turn off this layer boom we have this layer on top we can comp this top layer now and then for the bottom layer what i usually like doing is adding tint what tint does it basically just makes it black and white i i do this effect a lot okay now let's get to the cc ball action effect or whatever you're gonna want to go to the first layer and duplicate it and then go to the middle one the second layer and we're gonna go over to effects and presets and type in cc ball action we're gonna drag this effect and put it into our clip if we turn off the top layer this is basically what it looks like and right here on scatter it basically makes these little balls pause so yeah let's enable this back so we can know what we're doing so we're gonna keyframe the scatter we're gonna press u on your keyboard so it can show up down here we're gonna go a couple frames up and then we're gonna scatter this something like this what you can do is mess with the settings right here on ball size if you want the balls bigger pause we can easy ease these frames and then we can add a little graph oh uh, let's do this graph here. and then boom we got this if you want to be extra you can add a 3d camera for example uh camera let's do 15 millimeters and then we're gonna make these all 3d layers we're gonna go over to active camera and move it to the left what we're gonna do is the cc ball action bring it a little bit back and then the, the background we're gonna put it back as well like this go back to active camera and then just scale them up again like this scale up the cc action i'm actually gonna make a no make this three layer boom And then we can add position and rotation. And then we can zoom it in like this. Maybe go 
go like this. Maybe we can put X a little bit to the front like this. So basically with the effects is you're basically making a base and then after that you you add the transitions on top. Okay, so the next effect is like a melting background type of effect. I've actually done this a lot of times on my edit. It's actually really simple. Um, so yeah, let's get straight to it. So just like the last effect, we're actually gonna have to duplicate this and we're gonna have to mask the person out if you're doing a person. Once you have your mask, uh, we're gonna comp this layer, and then basically we're just gonna leave the top layer alone. We're just gonna work on the bottom layer. So for the effect, I use Displacer Pro. Now this is a separate plugin, but you can also use Map Displacement, which I am gonna show you how to use too. But for Displacer Pro, you basically just drop it on the clip. It's pretty simple. You just mess around with this setting. You see, it goes to the the right. Or the left and then you can use this one if you want it to go down i personally like using this one so we're just gonna use this one we're gonna add a keyframe and then we're gonna sort of go like this if you don't want the background to be black what you can do is right here on edge behavior what you can do is click on mirror repeat and it's gonna do that and then again use this easy ease and then do a little graph if you don't have Displacer Pro, you can also use Displacement Map. I actually still use this, um, but we're going to set all of these to zero first. And then and I'm going to use this vertical one. So we're going to set up a keyframe. And then go to the end. Just make it higher. Also, if you don't want these black things on it, just click this and then boom. I actually edit this picture like there's a glitch on the audio now here's another um i guess the effect it's a bonus effect we're gonna go over the layer and then we're gonna make a adjustment layer and then right here where it starts melting we're gonna cut the clip and then on this adjustment layer we're gonna add bcc cross glitch now this is the glitch that i use a lot of people asked me for it you do need bcc which is a plugin so yeah Yo, why does this, this actually look as good as hell? Looks so smooth, bro. What the hell? Okay, so this effect is actually one of my favorites. Like, I've used this so many times. So we're going to be doing an eye wink with a picture. How are we going to do it? It's actually really easy and really fast. So first thing we're going to do is zoom into her eye. We're going to duplicate this picture. We're going to grab the pen tool. And then we're going to do something like this. And then like this. Boom. So go to this bottom clip. Go to effects of presets and type in liquify. And then add this to your thingy. Sometimes this thing doesn't show up. If it doesn't show up for you, just click this right here. For brush pressure, we're actually going to do this all the way to 100. As you can see, it doesn't show up anymore. So you just click this again. And then boom. Now we're going to go over to distortion mesh. We're going to click, make a keyframe. And then... Put it somewhere where you want it where you want the person to blink so maybe right there like in the middle of the clip and then go like maybe one or two frames up i'll do two and what you want to do make sure you're on the bottom clip by the way what you're gonna do is warp her eye down like this i know it looks a little weird right here there's a little imperfection so what you can do let's go to this top clip Bring this like this because like she has her lashes like really long so yeah now what you can do is copy it and then just paste it over here easy ease this and then boom you have a little a wink you see is that easy bro is it really that easy <laughs> next effect we're gonna do is i guess it could be a transition too or something but we're gonna make a cube 
with the picture shattering you know i recently made something like that but using 3d element but if you don't have 3d element you can still do this but basically uh the first step is getting your picture make sure it's comped and then we're gonna go over to effects and presets and type in shatter we're gonna bring it to our clip and right here on view we're gonna change it to rendered go to shape and then you can choose anything i like glass the shadow is actually like a glass i like to mess with the settings a little bit if you want all the pieces to actually like shatter uh, right here on radius just bring it a little bit higher and then boom now i don't want it to right away start shattering so what i'm going to do is actually i'm going to duplicate this and then just take the effect off the bottom one so this is just like a, a still image i'm gonna have to delete this right here and boom we're gonna comp these two layers and now we make a cube if you know how to make a cube then i mean go ahead okay so the last effect is pretty simple and it's just like a little detail that you can add if you don't want your images like on your edits to look just plain is you can add glow into their eyes so duplicate this image get the pen tool and just mask out their eyes for example um once you have the masked picture which is just gonna be like this is only the top is you're gonna add fill fill and then you can choose any color of your choice i guess we let's go with green because the background is green okay once you have all of that you're gonna add glow in this case we're gonna use the sapphire glow okay so boom and as you can see we don't even have to tweak nothing this already looks good no cap so this is it for this video um if you'd like to see part two then subscribe and like this video bro subscribe bro subscribe 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 and yeah i'll see you guys next time hopefully really soon and yeah deuces